And now for Arsenal, this is all that remains, this beautiful possibility. This is the Emirates Stadium where the famous clock is ticking implacably towards Arsenal's destiny, whatever that may be. Sinchenko, Erdegaard, whipped in front. This is one defiant bunch. Have we got a game here? We have. Saka. Kyo Saka! That is a diamond of a goal! How that boy glitters! Now that Lee, that is special. It is. This guy never stops surprising you. Just about got through to Trossar. Outside of him is Zinchenko. Zinchenko, on a goal, it's in! Little touch on the line from Nketiah. And right at the death, the leaders have snatched it. It's a goal. It's a goal. It is a goal. Bang on 90. Those are the moments. That is a massive moment. You wonder, truly you wonder. And on a gorgeous day in the capital, it is moments away. And Erdegaard is joining in, and he's seen Martinelli! Extraordinary! Another magic moment in time for Gabriel Martinelli! Moments into the... Occasion. It's a wow start for Arsenal. And Arsenal are in a hurry here. Martinelli, it's three on three. Gabriel is forward. Martinelli is driving. Gabriel Martinelli, Saka! Right on the cusp of the break. Arsenal have their lead back. They flew forward like they meant it. Now, this is one brave boy. Bakayo Saka because this is one pressure penalty these are broad shoulders this is courage a sporting moment in time Bakayo Saka yes! such poise such noise they mean this boy do they mean this how this matters they are there and they mean to stay there Bring on the big boys. Canate, the end. What a wonderful match for Arsenal. What a wonderful win. What a meaningful response from those players. What unity. What joy. That was so very, very good. And Arsenal won it 3-2. At the Emirates Stadium, North London, hope springs eternal. Arsenal so brilliant for so long, but buffeted and bruised and riddled with recent regret and preparing to emerge here bullishly to resist the notion that their pursuit of glory has been in vain. Two teams can still win the Premier League and Arsenal are one of them. And Xhaka and Erdogan! Beauty! That is a lovely hit. And he has cheered up Arsenal plenty. Wonderful precision. And a goal! Snack, crackle and pop. Eternally alive. Ready to snatch his moment. The moment came and Erdegaard snatched it again. And 60,000 others. He has a beautiful relationship with the football, Martin Erdegaard. They just understand each other. The ball of him. And Gabriel Jesus! Jesus! Arsenal are happening again! And they have their boot on Chelsea's throat. Top again. Where they dream of being again. Maybe it's still alive. Kovacic has a Super Bowl. Magweke scores for Chelsea. 
Chelsea goals rare to the point of preciousness and he has one Arsenal are not done yet a win at last another win and tonight Arteta and the Gunners will sleep again on the very top of the pile and Manchester City have them to reel in once more Martin Odegaard delightful two smashing first half goals there was really much jeopardy Chelsea's jeopardy is big picture they now have lost six games in a row played six lost six for poor Frank Lampard he has a task and a half between now and the end Arsenal's task still feels achievable they still dream the big dream so here we are Deep uncertainty, clinging to the fringes of the top four, grappling for their right to a say in the biggest conversations of them all. And there are 60,000 of their people here, terrified at the prospect of what Arsenal just might do. Saka can drive at him. Kayo Saka! It's dropped in! And Arsenal, amid Spurs bemusement, have snatched the lead. Amid, you would think, Lloris embarrassment. It's a horror. Longley in reverse. And Erdegaard alongside. Martin Erdegaard has pinned it into the bottom corner. And Arsenal are dreaming. They are dreaming big. Feels like a fading away from the relevant end, the real big business end of the Premier League. Get the Arsenal party started. You will struggle to stop it tonight. They have won on enemy territory for the first time in the better part of a decade. They have left their neighbours far away and indeed they leave Rebecca the chasing pack far away. Two nil winners at Tottenham and eight, eight points clear. There's the usual Derby Day buzz at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea and Arsenal meeting once again, a rivalry that first started in 1907. Chelsea start the game with ground to make up. Arsenal toe to toe with Manchester City, and we know what pressure that brings. Corner taken by. Oh, he's gone right through and in! Well, whether that's going to be Gabriel's goal or whether it went straight in from the corner, we'll have to wait and see. But Arsenal lead the derby at Stamford Bridge and they might be heading back to the top of the Premier League table. Over to Chelsea to respond. Full time. And Arsenal have gone back on top of the Premier League table. They've gone above Manchester City. And Mikel Arteta can smile and celebrate because they've won the London derby against Chelsea. And they've beaten Chelsea now here for three seasons in a row. Get out at all in the Arsenal goal today. It's Arsenal's day, they're back on top. Chelsea have to go back to the drawing board under their new manager. And it's the Arsenal supporters celebrating at Stamford Bridge. Full time, Chelsea nil, Arsenal one. in London town and the capital is stirred by its grandest game and this time grand it truly is they cannot live together they cannot live apart Arsenal and Tottenham eternally tumultuous Arsenal forever obliged to beat Spurs Spurs compelled to beat Arsenal one of them will be top of the Premier League tonight Saka White Oh, a pinch of a hit from Thomas Partey on Derby Day. The Gunners hit Bullseye first up. Thomas Partey's first goal since March. And it has Arteta dancing. Rhythm, feel the joy. A fixture he has made his own. He had a point to make. In this game, he always has a point to make. Eyeball to eyeball with Aaron Ramsdale. In the Harry Kane Derby collection. Just one more ice cool penalty from the master. In a fixture he embraces like no other. Gabriel's head is down. Tottenham's collective head is raised. Their heart is raised. Their voices are raised. It's one each. We're back where we started.
Perisic in reverse for Kyle Saka, beaten out by Lloris and touched in by Jesus. Arsenal in front again. Lloris a lonely figure. Jesus engulfed. Feel a North London derby at the sharp end. Martinelli and Granit Xhaka. A growl of Gunners euphoria. They have their foot on the Tottenham throat. Arsenal for the top of the Premier League tonight. Arsenal began the day top. As it stands, they end the day top. They are indeed top of the league. A golden gutter's day for Arsenal folk everywhere. Simply heavenly. It's happening. It is happening for Mikel Arteta. They began the day on top. They will end the day on top. They'll have another week at the top of the Premier League and they will relish it. And Antonio Conte and Tottenham are beaten in the Premier League for the first time this season. Arsenal have beaten Spurs by three goals to one. You won the Rebecca. Are they now the real thing? Tottenham